But I kind of wonder, what's next? What's after GMOs? What, where, what, what happens next? I tell you what I think is next. What I think is next is, you know, you take, you know, GMOs have changed the way that, that we farm yep. and you still have some conventional farmers that are still doing it. They have a niche market, you know, there's a lot of areas that have non-GMO bean market or, yep. you know, I don't, is there a non-GMO corn market around you? I don't even know. A little bit. Yes. Okay. So there is, there is some niche markets yeah, yeah, out yeah. there. So the market um, works, I feel like. And then you have the organic farming thing. And I, I think I feel like the organic thing has been played out. I shouldn't say it's been played out, but I feel like it's been played out somewhat. Um, it, it, there's not as much value in that because there's been some some false things that have happened within that. And you're paying a premium for a non-nutritious product. I think the next thing is, is when you get into regenerative agriculture, like the real the real base of regenerative agriculture, yeah. you can grow a crop that you're doing 100 percent the right thing all the time. You're improving the soil. You're reducing your your carbon footprint on the environment. And when you combine the environmental standpoint and the nutrition standpoint and you tie them all together, I think that that is what's coming in the future. I think that's the future of agriculture. 